Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Perpetual Randomizer. We are... Do we have music? We should. Swan, you gotta sing for us, buddy. Uh, we are... We The current composition that we have in this amazing, amazing randomizer is, of course, the Ursodon and the Ascendant. Now, we're going over here to the randomized turrets thing so that we can have our missile turret apparently replaced by the photon cannon. And then we are going to jump on in to mission number four. We did the first three last time. We're getting the Corpser Roach. Now, I decided on something. By the way, the random attack waves, uh, it says what they are up here. I'm not going to be looking at them for the most part, but they are randomized. Uh, they are way harder than the base Brutal game as a result. And uh, I will not be showing them off or anything. We're just going to learn what they are when we get there. So, uh, you know, too many decisions otherwise. So what I've decided to do with the reroll system that we have here is that the planet that we go to, for example, if we choose to go to Agria, we get the Corpse of Roach, and then every other available planet, I will be re-rolling. So that is, that is the way that we're going to approach it, and hopefully that gives us lots of options for very funny stuff. Of course, you guys still vote on which planet we should go to next. Uh, voting via just upvote what planet you think is interesting, or what, no, 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 what unit you think is interesting, not what planet. Uh, and then we will go and get that unit. It's, uh, I think that that is the best way to do it. Make sure that it is the unit, that way it, we can have everyone voting on the same thing and not have a bunch of split votes for the same thing, if that makes sense. Let's, uh, head up here, grab this really, really quick. Little bit of cash, we obviously need the gas because this is a silly, silly composition that we have. But we have these Ascendants who have this healing aura, and then we have the Corpse of Roach, which should be insane. We can both eat the roach for energy and then burrow it to gain HP back really easily. And we can eat the little guys that they spawn. It's like a double buffet. Uh, enemies damaged by the roach become, did, they didn't spawn their little dudes. That's a little sketch. Uh, I don't know if the acid just didn't, there we go. Okay. The acid must've just barely not landed. Yeah, we can get all these little guys for free, and then we can eat them, which is insane. <laughs> the Ascendant is so good. Uh, let's go get this Vespin palette, and we are going to start our little macro. Boom, 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 boom. It's, uh... How much is an Ascendant? 150, this is 65, and the Corpse is 135. Oh, that is an expensive roach. Interesting. So it's definitely not as good as the base corpser by any means. And hmm, we're going to see is it uh is it reactorable? Because that matters as well. One of the things about roaches that makes them so good is the ability to blast a lot of them out very very quickly. So we're going to we're going to see. I think that we're going to be making some ursodons right now. We're going to get our plus 1. We're just going to get our barracks up. Uh, we're going to get supply blocked. Because roaches are really supply dense, <laughs> as are the Ascendants. We don't have marines here that do a bunch of damage without costing a bunch of supply. And as a result, the Ursodons are really supply expensive too. We're really, really just going to get supply blocked a lot because we're going to go up in supply way, way faster than we normally do. So we have the Photon Cannon available. That is interesting. The Photon Cannon and the Sunk, both are very, very different. Oh, hello. Oh gosh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of pain, though. Uh, okay, burrow these. Heal them up. I mean, these are great little battery guys. I'm very happy with them. I have a feeling that the Corpser is going to effectively be our, like, stabilization unit. It's so consistent and reliable. It works with a lot of stuff. The Ascendant is a little bit more vulnerable, comparatively. But man, the Corpser does not care. Someone had the right idea. He just, he works with everything. You throw a couple Corpsers in and you get this nice little stream of little dudes constantly. Even if they're a little bit expensive. And, uh, they do have to be tech labbed. That's interesting. That's actually a pretty big nerf for them. So our ability to make roaches is very strong. However, it is also, um... Our ability to make roaches is very strong, but it is way, way, way slower than Zerg's is. And that's one of the big things about roaches is that they have a decent amount of firepower, 
and they can be built really quickly. So we're losing some benefit there. Can we just... Here, go get the bonus for me. I don't want to deal with this location. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I wonder... Can... Can medics heal sunks? I know that sounds like a stupid question. Because it is, but I don't know the answer. That would be really cool if they could. We're getting all these pickups, which is great. We have uh, two of the bonuses, and we can head on over here. Our anti-air is very bad. That is something we have to keep in mind. <laughs> Particularly now that the turret is the Photon Cannon. Photon Cannon obviously way better against ground targets, but not nearly as good against air targets as the Missile Turret is. So we're going to have to get our defenses. I'm going to start, after we pass this area, I'm going to move over here and start reinforcing this. I think I want defenses here and here, and then my escort can kind of deal with this area. I wonder... Is there, like, a guy over here we can get a little corpse thing for? Ah, we have no vision. Okay, we're getting our Ursodons. We're getting our Corpsers. We're getting our Ascendants. It's a beautiful, beautiful time to be part of this army. Rainers Raiders. They can do anything at this point. The Ursodons just kind of die, but it is important to remember how cheap they are. We're getting, uh, once this armor upgrade is done, they're going to be a two-base armor tank with 125 HP for 65 bucks. It's basically free. At least it's enough to get some of the corpser strains going, the little dudes. I thought it said that we were fighting, it was, I thought it was something other than Queens. I don't remember what the other unit was besides Sons of Core Hall, but I thought it was not Queen again. Maybe I'm going crazy, maybe. Maybe I don't understand how the random attack waves worked. I'm really feeling the cost of these corpse approaches, though. They're significantly more expensive than even marauders or fire bats. Oh, save it! No! Oh! Well, we tried our best. <laughs> Particularly when we're trying to afford these Ascendants. Like, usually we have way more supply at this point. I am overbuilding workers intentionally. This is so I can send some over here in a moment. In fact, it is now the moment. We'll build up that area. You guys, how about you run down there and try to grab all that money? The number of things that we're going to be able to do with these little corpser guys is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Here we go. Free cash. The move over here. Nom nom. Uh-oh. I left some guys at home, but I'm not sure I left enough. Now we're going to kite these back to our ally. We're going to start running back over here. Oh, these are strong. Uh, remember, if you lose all of the colonist stuff, you die. Nom nom. We're going to have to leave these at home for now. We're all right. Oh, oh there's a couple more. Ah, they killed all the workers over there, too. Everybody repair this and then try to build this up. And we'll start getting the cannons. Let's get the bonus objective while we're here. The uh, Those attacks are scary. It is a lot of pain. Okay, a couple ascendants at home. You guys just chill right here. And you're going to chill behind a couple of... It says missile... Oh, okay. It's just the missile turret icon, but it's actually the photon cannon. Good. And you guys... Ooh, here comes another wave. Well, I got the guys at home. Hopefully that's going to help. Uh, one thing that's interesting about the cannon is we cannot warp them in, which is a big nerf to the cannon, of course. Oh, okay, we're fine. 
<laughs> We're going to need more at-home defenses. The cannons just barely weren't finished. We got this. We can head over here. No. And get a couple more ascendants. I want to stop building ascendants and get more corpses at some point. This mission is being impressively difficult. The, uh... <laughs> the addition of these extra attacks in tandem with the power that the... Uh, lack of marine is, I guess. The enemies get a lot of bonus power because we don't have marines. And the inability to vaporize things really quickly. But I think that we're going to be okay. Your forces are under attack. I just need to really quickly restock that just in case. Okay, got those guys here. We're fine. Deepo, deepo. Don't want to blast that out of the sky. We gotta rely on our ally for anti-air. Hopefully not too many mutas hit. I'm glad that the attack waves are not mutas. Are these vile? No, they're not. Okay. They're just purple. <laughs> that's that's roachism. I, I can't tell roaches apart. They uh they kinda looked vile. It's always worth checking. You never know what you're gonna Ah Muta. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a no shrimp diet. This is the worst one liner ever. <laughs> so I was thinking about these static defense pieces, and there's actually a debate to be made about which one is better. Because obviously we don't have any ability to increase our shield capacity or upgrade our shields or anything like that. Do you get Yeah. No shield upgrades from armor or anything like that. But, uh, the cannons are repairable. The sunks, on the other hand, are way more durable, and they do a lot of damage. But they can't be... They can't be repaired. Also, not being able to warp in cannons is definitely a big loss for the cannon. So I think that both of these are not necessarily the most optimal thing in the world. And we're just going to do a little bit of a combo of them. Have them work together. You guys here. I think at this point, we're going to rotate something like this. That seems good. Oh, not my static defense. No. Oh, they have two, two. That is no wonder they're busting through it so fast. Oh, that's why we need the sunks is their additional armor is really helpful. But yeah, we can repair the cannons because they're uh, mechanical buildings. It's just one of those weird StarCraft things. Here. Let's go. Your place. Yeah. You two here. I think we want five Ascendants because that is how the healing aura that we got on the Armory stacks for them. By the way, uh, the way that the Armory upgrades work is apparently that all the upgrades are randomly picked. Like, there's a pool of upgrades. And, uh... So, you get uh, two upgrades for your unit from that viable pool. It's not like the Ascendant always has the healing aura and the gas reduction. Instead, there's like eight. I just made up a random number. I have no idea if it's eight. There's just a bunch of different options that it could potentially be. So, I think we got some pretty decent ones. I'm not going to say they're the best in the world because I have no idea. But, uh, for example, everything with charge has the one that get, or has the potential to get the one that has charge damage. And that's why the Ursidon has it. But it's not always going to happen in your run. I'm really excited to reroll units after this mission. I'm going to be completely honest. That is what I'm like looking forward to the most is taking the uh, previous units and rerolling to see what they are. Not super excited about the Stalker just because the Stalker is really... Oh, we can heal the APC. Stalker is not really that good. But... Uh, or, sorry, when I say not really that good, I mean it's not really that exciting. It's insane. Oh, my Ascendants are dead again. This is the issue with the Ascendant. They uh, are in a baneling heavy environment, and they are 150 gas for 40-40 in durability, which is... Ooh. It's making this mission much more tenuous than it has to be. Our supply is just not that high, though part of it is because we're investing quite a bit in these static defenses, and they are not cheap. <laughs> not cheap at all. 
And unlike Terran static defenses, these do not, you know, give supply because the bunker you obviously have to field. This is running out too. We have one more escort to go. This area is feeling great. So what we're most afraid of is a little bit over here, a lot of bit over here, and this is fine. And I like that. I think that's a really good setup. We're going to bring everybody with us for this final escort, and we're going to have our rally just chilling over here. Just in case we get counterattacked. I'm not super scared about a counterattack in the final escort. Because, I mean, if they punch through half my base, I don't care. I can lift this up, bring it over here, whatever. It'll be fine. Bro, heal up. Eat, 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 eat. And then wait for them. This gas geyser, it's got a lot of gas on it. I guess it's built so that if you have auto extractors at this point, you're fine. What does the laboratory do? I haven't even thought about the laboratory. There's so much potential there. This is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to bring you and we're going to bring you. You and now we're going to leave one of them at home. I think that's a reasonable compromise. You can get them, Marines. Uh, oh, we're not good against structures, are we? We have, like, nothing that's good against that. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, gosh, we've taken a lot of damage on the APC already. Uh, we have this little healing aura. It's the one that's best. <laughs> Patching it up. Big attack wave. Right in our vulnerable spot, but we brought so many of these guys that it's okay. We hit the critical mass, and they don't have the banelings to stop us yet. One of the other interesting things about the healing aura on the Ascendant is it's not great with the Ascendant, because the Ascendant doesn't have that much HP compared to shields. Like, it's equal and it's low on each, so the chance that you're going to be low is not, like, super reliable. You might just be dead. Okay, be very careful here. I don't know what's coming out of there. Nothing, that's what. They're too scared of my orbs. <laughs> Not quite hit that, but that's fine. This is the very final escort. We have all the bonus objectives. We haven't lost a colonist, and everybody is looking good. So now, what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to go to the planet list, and I'm going to look at the two new units we have, because we should have... Uh, the, what is normally the Reaper mission and what is normally Outbreak. We've lost the colony. So we'll see what those are, and then we re-roll the Stalker on Smash and Crab, because it is a unit that we had before that we did not pick. So we'll have lots and lots and lots of new options. And then we'll take a look at the Armory to see what our Roach upgrades are. So... Okay. War pigs are actually really big and beefy Ursodon. That seems really decent, actually. And then the Devil Dogs are Elite Corpse or Roaches. I'm not convinced right now that's necessarily what we need. Because the Corpse or Roaches value largely comes from the Corpse or Ability, not from their statistics. So I'm going to potentially spend my money in other places. Let's head to the bridge, take a look at what we got. So, first of all, Meinhof smashing... Oh, yep. Outback Hunter. <laughs> this isn't Smash and Grab. This is uh, Outbreak. Um, this is... Shush, Doc. Uh, this is the... <laughs> Elite Hellion. Okay. Interesting start. Here's the Nerezim Stalker. We hit the reroll button. Into the Mito Scarab. Okay. Uh, I don't know what a Mito Scarab do does besides can attack ground units. I know that it, like, splits, but I don't know if it is good before it splits or anything. And then, of course, we have Redstone. I hear the mighty Jim Rainer's on the move. Are you kidding? <laughs> we got the Hellion on the Hellion mission. We got the Reaper on the Reaper mission. What? <laughs> I mean, this might be elite, but are you kidding? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I will listen to where people want me to go, but first of all, let's look at these upgrades. Increased attack speed for the sunk. Spawn several broodlings on death for the sunk. Uh, deal damage to enemy units when salvaging. 100 damage radius of 4 when sal- I don't really want to salvage my photon cannons. Or increased attack speed by 25%. This is interesting. I don't know if it's good. It's cheap. Ursidon, charge damage, refund cost upon death. Vespine cost reduction. It seems very tempting, but it's also very expensive. And I'm not sure that I'm going to use Ascendance forever. Four armor under 50% HP? Huh. Alright. That's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor for Wings of Liberty where we're fighting Zerg who have a lot of Zerglings. That, uh, that seems pretty good. Uh, that is going to be it for today. Uh, I'm going to give you one more look at this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.